Offenses are a stumbling block. Romans chapter 14, verse 13. Therefore, let us not judge one another anymore, but rather resolve this, not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way. As we consider and talk about offenses uh, this week and how we should handle, how we should react and respond when we are offended, uh, it is interesting again to look at how offenses is used in Scripture. Yesterday, yesterday we understood that one of the uh, literal meanings of the word, the Greek word used for offense has to do with it being a bait, a snare or a trap. That same word uh, is often also used to refer to a, a stumbling block, something that causes someone to stumble or to fall. And there's another Greek word that's also used as a stump or an obstacle against one which uh, against which one dashes their foot and therefore they trip up and fall. And both these words are used in the scripture that we just read in Romans 14, verse 3, which says that we must not judge one another but we must make this resolve not to put a stumbling block. That is that Greek word that refers to a stump or an obstacle by which somebody trips up and falls or a cause to fall. That was the same Greek word that we referred to yesterday that causes somebody to stumble. So when offenses come our way, keep in mind that it is actually a, a, an opportunity being presented to cause us to trip up and fall. Yes, we do feel the hurt and the pain of whatever they have said, uh, the wrong thing, the accusation, the uh, you know the words that may have been spoken, or uh, the betrayal, or the actions that have been done that offend us. Uh, yes, we feel the pain of it, but also remember that that offense could become a stumbling block. It could cause you to trip over and fall. Now, when you when just imagine a picture uh, when a uh, when somebody trips over and falls, what happens? They get hurt, but it could also potentially hinder them from progressing down the path that they were going. It could take them off of that path. And so offenses come in our way, come our way as a, a, a tactic of the enemy to cause us to trip up and fall, to become an obstacle a stumbling block. So it's not so much that somebody has said or somebody has done something to me. There is more to it than just being hurt. It is an, an, an opportunity for the enemy to put a stumbling block, an obstacle in our path so that he can prevent us from continuing on in the path that God has ordained for our lives. So when offenses come, two things we must keep in mind. An offense could be could, could be a bait of the enemy, a trap and a snare trying to capture us. An offense could be a stumbling block, an obstacle by the enemy trying to hinder our progress in the path that God has ordained for our lives. So we must recognize offenses for what the enemy will do in our lives if we do not handle offenses correctly. What is a potential danger to us uh, if this offense is not handled in a proper way, the way God would want us to handle it. It could become a snare. It could become a stumbling block. Do not allow, allow offenses that come your way to become either of these in your life. Let's learn to handle offenses the way God wants us to do it. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you'll give us grace and wisdom, God, to be bigger than the offenses that come against us. Words that people may speak at us, things that they may do to us. God, give us the grace to be bigger than those things so that we do not fall into the snare of the enemy and we do not fall at the stumbling block or obstacle of the enemy. Help us to rise above these things by your grace. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.